Hi. Welcome. So today I'm going to show you how you can customise your Google Classroom. Maybe you want to put a website on there, maybe you want to put some extra revision for your class, maybe you want to direct them to a class folder. So I'm going to show you how you can customise your uh, Google Classroom so that you have links within the Google Classroom header to um, important research resources or a website uh, that you want to direct your students to. Now unfortunately with Google Classroom the links aren't completely active so you will have to train your students to copy and paste those links but I'm just going to show you a couple of little things that you can do in Google Classroom to personalise the header. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how you can personalise this top section of the header. So if you um, go into the settings you will find there's three um, there's different levels here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in class. I'm just going to copy these so you can see where they will appear in the information um, on the heading. Okay, so you can see I'm just copying the title, um, and you can just see where it appears. So when I press save. We look at the class, you can see that the section is right underneath the name of the class, okay? But the others don't appear in the top. What you need to do is click on this arrow and you can see the subject, the room and the class description goes in here. So what does this look like for a student? You can see that the section appears right underneath the class name, but you have to press on this arrow. Now it's not really massively obvious where this arrow is, but you can click on this arrow and you'll see that subject, that room and class description. And that's how it looks for a student. So one of the things you could do is maybe um, use a website. So for example, I might want to use uh, my website in my class um, information. So maybe I want to train my students to go and have access to and to know um, the uh, class website or where to find some work. So if I paste that into there, then it will come up under the subject bit. Again, remember you have to train the students so when they go in and look, they will have to press the arrow to go down and it will be in there. But you see, it doesn't, it's not clickable. They'll have to learn to copy and paste that. But it just puts it in one nice, easy place. It's not an, um, a straightforward link. Another thing you could do is maybe you've got a folder with extra work in, okay? So what you can do is you can copy the link to this folder. Okay, you can copy the link to this folder. Make sure you've checked your share settings so that anyone um, in your domain has access to this. Um, and you could get your um, setting, you could get your um, URL, your link. And then what I've done is I have put it through something called Tiny URL to make it a nice, pretty one instead of a big, horrible um, link like this. So I've got a nice, um, simple, URL with something that's easy uh, to remember here. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this, but I want it to appear in the section right under the title of the class. So when I put it into the section bit, here we go, and that will take them to a Google folder where there'll be extra work for that class. So there it is. And for the student, it would look like, just give it a second update, there it is. Again, it's not a clickable link. They would have to learn to copy and paste it into um, their web browser. And that will take them to that Google folder where you have put extra work for them to complete or whatever it is that you are choosing to do with your students at that time. So a nice simple way that you can customize how it looks and the information that you give your students, whether it's websites, class links, whatever it is that you would need for your students. So I hope that is helpful, a great way to customise and make your Google Classroom relevant and useful to you. Thanks.